Hi everyone, welcome to the lesson where we try to answer the question, what is Hashimoto's disease? For the most part, you can substitute the word Hashimoto's with the word hypothyroidism. That's not true for all Hashimoto's patients, but for most of them, they will have hypothyroidism. Hypo is the Greek for underfunctioning, and thyroidism refers to the thyroid gland. So then, we are talking about a thyroid gland that is under functioning. What is the thyroid gland? Let's talk about that first and then we'll talk about Hashimoto's disease. Let me draw here a bad cartoon of a person and I want to draw your attention right here on the neck. I'm drawing a bow tie in yellow. That yellow bow tie is actually the shape of your thyroid gland and it's exactly where it's located, right there at the front of the neck. And its job is to make thyroid hormone. That hormone then works on pretty much every part of the body, and we'll talk about that part. But let's mention first that the thyroid gland is under control from the brain. So the brain sends a signal to the thyroid gland saying, make me thyroid hormone. And then secondly, the thyroid gland responds and says, here you go, here's your thyroid hormone. So what does the thyroid hormone do? Let me draw a cartoon of our lightning bulb here, because the first and most important thing that the thyroid gland does is controls the energy production from the body. And energy means power for your muscles. The other thing that it's involved in is, and I'm drawing here a cartoon of intestines, it controls the gut motility. It controls how fast nutrients are moving through the gut. Thirdly, I'm drawing here a cartoon of skin with hair follicles from it, and there are little pockets of hydration in between hair follicles with let's say water here in blue, it's not actually water, but thyroid gland affects how much these little hydration pockets are working, so it affects your skin hydration. Right underneath here, I'm drawing a picture of the thermometer, so the thyroid gland can affect the thermostat of your body, the set temperature that the body likes to be at. Lastly, and that comes kind of back to the first thing we talked about, it controls the balance of the energy, your ins and outs of energy. In is how much energy you give to your body with food, out is how much you burn with exercise or even just sitting on a couch. So the energy balance can be tilted with how much thyroid hormone you have. So now let's talk about symptoms of hypothyroidism, of underfunctioning thyroid. So underfunctioning means that everything here takes a break, everything is reduced. If you have less energy, you're going to feel more tired, more fatigued. If you have less power, you're going to feel weaker. Your muscles are not going to be that strong. If you have less gut motility, things are going to stay in for longer in your intestines. You're going to feel constipated. You're going to have constipation. If your skin is less hydrated, you're going to have dry skin. If your thermostat is set lower, your whole body is going to be cold. And if your energy balance is tilted so that you don't burn that much energy, over a period of time, you're going to weight gain. So let's move to the right here where we discuss how does Hashimoto's cause hypothyroidism. So the first thing to talk about is, before we do that, is how the body fights infections. I'm drawing here a picture of a bacteria of something that causes you, for example, sore throat. And there's usually the immune system sends soldiers, so sends this nice and shining armor to go and kill those bugs. And those soldiers that you, your immune system sends to battle are the antibodies. What happens in Hashimoto's disease is that the immune system gets confused and instead of sending those soldiers to battle to fight infections, it actually sends them and they fight your own thyroid gland. Over a period of time, they, they destroy your thyroid gland and they make you having all those symptoms. That's an example of an autoimmune disease. Auto is Greek for self, so it means the immune system is recognizing parts of yourself as foreign, so it starts attacking them. So now let's finally talk about treatment of Hashimoto's disease. The cause behind everything is that you have less thyroid hormone. So the aim of the treatment is to actually increase the levels of the thyroid hormone. It's much more difficult to stop the immune system from attacking your thyroid gland and many times people are diagnosed way after the thyroid gland is completely destroyed, so it's much easier to just give back the body what's missing. And the way we can do that is we give the body back synthetic thyroid hormone. 
which is identical to the thyroid hormone that comes from our own thyroid gland. So if you were a patient with Hashimoto's and you have all these symptoms, soon after being placed on the synthetic thyroid hormone, you feel just fine. The rest of the body doesn't know that the thyroid hormone came from a pill instead of coming from your own thyroid gland. Thank you for listening.